How do you balance career, personal life and family responsibilities and why is this balance important for men to discuss? Uh, I think for, for me it's the, the, the priority I had. So in the beginning it was always just work and career and focus on get to where I wanted to be uh, but over time I realized that family was more important. We think we're providing for the family and that's okay. Like I'm working hard, uh, it's like they're uh, doing it for you, but he still shift them aside to do that and make it feel isolated. So it changes the perspective of, you know, like I said earlier, um, you know, if you just work, 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 but then it changes like my husband's a hard worker, my, my dad works hard. Just thinking about what you just said, uh and the values around working hard. I think it's important to also think about what are you working for, like who are you working for? Because that actually helps to motivate you and push you a bit harder so that on the, the toughest days and the darkest times, you know, that you know what, I'm doing this to my family. It, it pushes me to, to go the extra mile and actually get things done. What advice would you give to young men today who are trying to figure out their place in the world? So I think to me that that says uh, young guys today, you know, they got all their, their like uh, all this to live up to, and they you got to lead by example. So what advice I would say is just to keep marching, keep going, and uh, don't give up. Just uh, some guys become successful in their first business attempt, others take maybe ten times. So. So never give up. I think the most important thing is for you to actually have a mentor um, and someone that you actually look up into. So it could be anyone in your family. It could also, it could also be anyone within your workspace. So it, it's, a, it's a constant of, you know, constant improvement, constant learning and the unlearning process. Yeah, so I think I'd like to put on that. So one of the things I think the traditional way of thinking for a lot of young men out there is that uh, you got to climb the ladder of success. And I think in this modern day age, the, the way of thinking needs to change. It's not like the ladder of success, but you should look at it as a grid. Uh, so you could go up, you could go left, right, you could go back down, you could move. And I think if you build your career in that fashion where you're not looking at just one ladder, but many steps together, so you shouldn't just think that you're going to study one thing and that's going to be the thing forever. How do you think men can better be equipped to cope with challenges in a healthy way? Like with this, with sharing experiences, if I bump my head, I don't want to see you bump your head. Let me tell you my experience, learn from it. And that's how I think we should be as men. <laughs> when, you, when you're actually getting married and you're seeing those vows, looking over the person's shoulder, um, your partner, your spouse is your, 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 your best friend for the rest of your life. And that's the one person that you can confide everything in. And if we talk about what it is to have strength and, and be strong, it's also opening yourself up and being vulnerable is the thing. Because it's, it takes more strength to actually open up and be vulnerable than it does to just bottle up everything inside. Um, I guess uh, the biggest sort of stereotype or two biggest stereotypes for me would be um, men aren't emotional and then hyper sort of masculinity. Uh, there can be mixed feelings around how men can not necessarily be less emotional or um, hide their feelings um, and that they're supposed to hide their feelings. In your opinion, how can we encourage men to open up um, more about their struggles and emotions? Um, if it's a female asking a male, you don't want to seem as vulnerable. Um, so I think having that opportunity to be vulnerable, but allowing that platform to be vulnerable.